Right, in this video, we're going to do more for loop. Uh, so we're just going to continue from last lesson, what we were doing last lesson with the for loop. So I'm just going to type what we had before and say for, we had for i in range and we had 10. So we repeated something 10 times on the user screen. So we just had a simple print command. So I'm just going to write that down and I'm just going to write hello world and hope okay so it's going to print hello world on the user screen 10 times okay if i run this okay before i run it i need to put the column there so if i run it you can see hello world is being printed on the user screen 10 times so there you go there's your hello world 10 times on the user screen so the loop works okay so we know what's happening this variable i okay is actually repeating from 0 to, okay, uh, uh, 10 times. So it starts from 0, it goes all the way up to 10. So just to show you what the I does, we're just going to put the I inside the print command and run it and see what happens. So you can see that I is, starts from 0 and it goes all the way to 9. So 0, okay, being uh, the first one and all the way to 9, so it's actually printing 10 times. Of course, this is quite interesting because it's actually a, it's actually, uh, it's actually a, a variable that is an integer. It's not a string variable. It's actually an integer variable. We can actually use this variable to actually do perform some calculations. So sometimes, of course, we don't really need the zero. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, for now, just to show you a calculation, I'm going to take the zero away. So how to do, take the zero, start from one. So the way to start from one is you can just write one comma, okay, ten. And if you do that, so the zero, you won't start from zero. Now you will start from one if i just run the program now you can see okay so you can see it started from one okay so you've got one and it goes all the way to uh, uh basically nine so we can perform some calculation now okay so just to show you that uh you can perform calculations with it okay and how you can actually do that so i'm just going to do a simple calculation okay uh as perform something very simple okay so I'm just going to create a variable and I'm going to call it uh, x okay so let's create x is equal to uh, I'm going to put i okay not one uh, i and times I'm just going to multiply it by say a five for example okay so let's just say five so it's a very simple thing okay so so what instead of displaying the i i'm going to display x so i'm i can show you the result results what's happening on the user screen so if i just run the program now you can see that you got uh, some interesting numbers there okay so let me just spread this out a little bit so you can see the code better so i'm going to explain what's happening here so this variable i it actually starts from one we know that okay so this i is actually one and of course you'll go all the way up to uh, okay, so it, when is i is one times five, okay, one times five is five, so x will become five. Now x is displayed on the user screen, so you can see there's five there. Okay, so now because it's not finished, because it's not finished all the way up to ten yet. Okay, so now i, so i will become two now. Okay, so when i is two, two times two times five, okay, is ten. So, so 10 is stored inside the variable x, okay, and the x is printed again, so now you can see 10 on the user screen, okay, so then now what you need to do, because it's not finished, okay, I will not finish yet, because you will go all the way up to 10, so i is not finished yet, so now i is 3, okay, so what you need to do, is again, you need to go through the, uh, perform the calculation again, so when i is 3, okay uh so i is 3 times 5 is 15 so 15 is stored on the x and the x is printed on the user screen you can see it. okay so i still not finished yet so it has to go back again okay so now i will become 4 okay so now i is 4 now 4 times 5 okay is 20 so the 20 is stored inside variable x and the x, because of the print command again, it will be printed, x will print, you can see 20 on the user screen again. 
Okay, so again, it's still not finished yet because I has to go all the way to 10. So you go back again. Okay, so I going back again. So now I becomes 5 now and it's not 10 yet. So I, I is 5. So perform the calculation, 5 times 5 is 25, 25 is stored into X, and the print X is printed onto the user screen. You can see 25 is here printed on the user screen. Now, that's what happened, and this process will be repeated again and again and again until the loop is actually goes all the way to 10, and you will actually uh, uh, perform the calculation every time. They actually uh, hits that uh, e uh, equation in the middle. Okay, so of course at the end you will see uh, I because it starts from one, it will uh, become uh, uh, st do nine times five, and it'll be forty-five. X will become forty-five, and then forty-five will be on the print is on. Uh, it will be printed on the user screen.